Once upon a time on a bright summer day, I got up super early in the morning, super pumped, super energized to start my day and smash my goals. I even skipped the morning rituals like brushing my teeth and calling my man Trump on a conference call. I head straight to my computer, opened a few tabs to check my mail, watch my favorite YouTubers, check in with our Discord group to see what's up, what's up, what's going on with the boys, everything pretty chill, everything looking good. I checked my clock and it was 6.30 am, hmm, seemed like a very perfect start to a perfect day so I decided to blink my eyes again like a normal person. And boom, it was 10 p.m. 10 p.m.? I barely did anything today. I missed all my deadlines, skipped class, and didn't achieve anything with my life for 17 hours. 17 hours! Nah, I'm just kidding. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on? You know how we do it around here? Shouting out amazing, talented artists on this channel. And today, our first artist is We Rups. His art gives me a lot of Doomfist vibes. He has really fantastic art on his Instagram. Just check him out. Give him a follow. He also has tutorials on how to achieve his style. Next artist is Sahat. And on Instagram, he goes by Graphite Brush Strokes. Make sure you give him a follow. He has really fantastic watercolor art on his page. I'm really in love with this style. His style is really simple. And it looks like something that i can calm down with just take some time and just learn how to use watercolor because i really suck at doing uh watercolor and painting with oil so this is something i might look into doing in the long run make sure you give him a follow really nice fan art on his page our next artist is el robo comics roberto andres Pulitano. I hope I pronounced that right. Anyways, his art is really fantastic. He's an illustrator and a comic book artist and I'm a really big fan of his style. He has a really abstract, really simplified style but it's really pushed and he exaggerates his proportions and forms a lot. I'm really in love with this Raphael that he drew here and this Street Fighter fan that he has here and some of his other artworks like this Cyclops. Just make sure you check out his Instagram page. He has really fantastic art there and give him a follow. And also if you want to get a shout out for your Instagram page page or your portfolio there's a pinned comment down in the comment section below just make sure you leave a comment with your instagram handle down in the comment section and you can also join our discord group the link is down in the description as well we're always sharing the works of other talented artists amongst ourselves and we're just pretty much just chilling talking about our talking about life and any other thing that artists really do nowadays so make sure you join our discord group if you're interested in that kind of stuff and like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here Okay, that was so much talking, but anyways, let's get on with the video. Today, I'm going to be sharing you a couple of tricks that I use to kind of convince, confuse myself into starting projects immediately. I suffer a lot from procrastination. Oftentimes, we just find ourselves in positions where we cannot or we just are not finishing projects. We're not finishing images we start we're not finishing anything we miss deadlines a lot of work gets piled up we have a lot of psds that are just wip1 wip2 and we end up not getting around to finishing these projects and it's something that bugs me down a lot because once i fall into that slump of always procrastinating and never getting anything done never really doing anything i just find myself slowly slowly just feeling depressed where nothing excites me anymore i don't even feel like i want to look at art i end up just sitting down in my room watching a lot of youtube videos playing fortnite and just probably even watching movies and just doing nothing exactly this is because i haven't set my head i haven't put my mindset in that productive state where it forces me to actually begin to think of work begin to think of okay finishing tasks finishing projects that i've decided to do even if it's like making a video for youtube like this i'll just go out there and just start making the video so i decided to kind of sit back and listen to some books watch some videos listen to my favorite artists talk and just listen to them speak of how they deal with procrastination by themselves when it comes to their own life and from listening to different people i just picked up some few tricks that have really helped me kind of control how i fall into these modes where i'm procrastinating and i'm just going to share these tips with you guys they're mm, tricks but they're just things you can do to avoid procrastinating or to just make yourself get in a productive state where you don't feel like doing what you want to do later so first off when it comes to drawing when it comes to just creating images and 
taking on any kind of work, I never start off with a blank white canvas. I know for this image, I started with a blank canvas, but before I began drawing this image, I had already done a couple of warm-ups just behind then, and I don't start on a blank canvas. I usually love to start on paper, and I just have a lot of sketches that I've already done, so I just go over them and just look at the ones that I, I did the previous day. And if, anytime I do that, it just makes me feel like, oh, I already have this thing going, so I'm just picking up from here. It's just confusing my mind to not become pressured by this big white canvas that I have to fill with a lot of images, a lot of studies in a really short amount of time and, and, and I know that I'm going to make a lot of mistakes on this page. So when I look at a page that I have already drawn in from the previous day, I already have like a certain urge, a certain push that I can do this again because I have seen my failures from the previous day and I've seen the images that I was successful with from the previous day. So I kind of have that, that initial urge that you need to just pick up from where you left off and just start off continuing and making more art. So that's something that I have been doing pretty much throughout this year. I don't just wake up and just start with a blank white canvas anymore. I just love starting off from where i was where i left off the previous day and right now i think it's helping me just overcome procrastination and just helps me get my mind into doing studies into uh into this productive mindset where i know that i'm coming into this study to fail and i know that after i fail i'm going to understand why i failed and i'm going to figure out how to make better images so this is the first thing that I love doing whenever I wake up in the morning and I'm about to get on to work. I love doing this. I love doing warm up, warm ups like this. And I feel like you can try doing this out in your own way, in your own time. Let's figure a way out to start doing this. Then the next thing I like to do is to set the tone for the work that I'm about to do to set the tone for my productive hours. So when I say productive hours, these are the hours that I am just totally working, either drawing or researching for videos I want to make, or just pretty much looking for reference that I'm going to use in my further videos later on, or reference that I'm going to draw from, or just reference on art station that I look at to uh, inspire me or influence a certain image that I want to create. So. Anytime I'm trying to get myself into this mindset, I love to listen to podcasts from either Bobby Chu or Art Cafe Mache Kusiara. And if I listen to those, it kind of it kind of fills me in with this this knowledge from high level tri AAA professional artists. And whenever they speak, whenever they say their own experiences and you're going through similar things even though you can't relate because you're not in their lives but you understand what they're saying and you feel like it's you as well because you're going through similar things in your own life so anytime i listen to podcasts like that it just gives me hope it gives me more motivation to wake up and just kick it wake up and do more studies get into the grind make more art pursue the dream that i want to make in my i want to live in with my work the career i want to pursue with my work and anytime i don't want to listen to Marche or bobby chu or any other of these videos I just love to listen to cool, calm music. So say, I know it, this is what has been raining now. It's pretty much everywhere. The, the lo-fi, uh, chill hop music. It's pretty much what everyone listens to now. So I love listening to that too. And if I'm not listening to that, I'm I'm just watching videos or listening to um, podcasts and interviews from Matt Diavella. He's a YouTuber and he runs a Patreon where he interviews a lot of people and they discuss productivity, uh, lifestyle, pretty much talking about things you can use to improve your life, improve your habits, and just learn different things that you can use to promote yourself and become a better version of yourself essentially and 
speaking of uh becoming a better version from yourself that leads me to today's sponsor which is skillshare now skillshare is a platform where you can come on and take classes not like a classroom per se but you're actually learning online through different teachers different artists different photographers different people talking about different things and when i first started learning how to use a camera i actually came on skillshare and i took classes from a guy called trash hand his classes were really amazing really fantastic so anyone that really wants to learn a new skill in this period where a lot of things are going on in the world it's not really a good time for people for different families people are going through a lot of things there's a lot of uncertainty a lot of anxiety with people in your mind and even in my own mind in my own country too i mean a lot of us are just really trying to figure out the next thing to do trying to build up new skills so we can create more and find ways to just overcome our anxieties coming on skillshare and just learning for a new skill taking a class from any of these tutors any of these artists online will really help you in pushing up and growing building up that new skill learning something new every day and i feel like anytime i try to learn a new skill it's just me going back and kind of discovering myself in a way finding out things that i'm interested in things that i want to do in the long run and things that i really don't like doing so chasing a new skill learning a new skill taking up a new hobby is really uh advice i would really love to advise this to anyone that is just doing only pure arts i would say you should go out there and try out different things learn a new skill take up a new hobby and see how you feel just monitor how you feel if you like it if it's something you want to take up because doing art for a long time is a really really tasking job just on your brain because it will come to a time where you will do art and you will just start getting tired of it so when that happens you might want to just switch back relax take a break from art and then start doing something else that you've probably uh grown interest in so learning some skills on skillshare is probably one of the best things you can do to tone up and grow more skills and if you're kind of having problems with uh productivity setting out things to do in your day building up brands building up guidelines and templates to follow for your team or just for you as a creative person as an entrepreneur because i feel like art is a business so you can always go on skillshare and learn any of those skills learn how to properly brand yourself and promote yourself as not just an artist but also as a business person skillshare is a good place with classes that you can use to just broaden your knowledge on business on branding and social media and any of those things so now that we have a lot of time on our hands i feel like this is the best time for you to learn all these things just on your own so when the world goes back to normal you have already uh, learned and acquired all these skills that you can use to tackle new jobs and pursue bigger clients eventually you have actually become a better person with all the time you had in your hands so make sure you check out skillshare with the link down in the description it's my link it's going to give you um two months of premium membership to the first 1000 people who sign up with the link if you want to continue on with your membership it costs just less than ten dollars it's cost less than a coffee it's something everyone should be able to afford because it's really going to help you now another trick i love doing to get me to finish projects faster because sometimes you might want you sometimes you might start a project actually i've started a lot of projects like this and because i don't see a deadline in front i don't see a milestone i need to reach i just end up leaving the project and not even attending to it i just leave it to keep on going i keep on saying oh i'm going to finish it this day and when the day comes i'll just say i'll give another excuse oh i'm going to finish it the other day because i didn't have this or i couldn't do this in the image or the image isn't complete i just keep on giving myself excuses as to why i'm not finishing projects so what i love to do now is just to create these mini deadlines in the day for when i want to reach a particular uh, level in the image so say 
if I start the image, I'll create a deadline for myself on when I want to finish the final line art inks. I'll create a deadline for that. And then I'll create a deadline for when I want to start uh, building up the lighting in the image. And then I'll create a deadline for when I want the final image to be done. So these are just three deadlines I've created just in a day for a particular project. So if I have multiple projects, I will have these three deadlines scattered on across each of these different projects and then I can tackle each of them at the same time just using the same deadline. So if I have a deadline for one particular image being line art, I'll push that image to line art and then I'll stop and then I'll push a different image maybe to color or maybe to the point where I'm beginning to light it. It's just pretty much you're pushing all your projects gradually almost at the same time kind of you're building them up gradually and then you eventually have your main deadline at the top which is you want to get these amounts of finished images in a day so say you're targeting five to ten images and you also want to think about how many images you can actually finish in a day i know saying five to ten images is a bit much so you might want to bring that down to say maybe three or four images pretty much depending on your skill level depending on how much work you can get done in a day depending on if you're you have a family you know that you can't be working 24 hours or 16 hours in your day you would want to have some time where you sit with your family just uh attend to the kids so you want to make this goal realistic so you set up a number of images you can finish in your day and then you start chasing that number but gradually um, breaking down these deadlines slowly so from the start of your day once you set up your mood you've gotten in the zone you're working you can start targeting each of these deadlines for different images and then slowly gradually reaching up to them building up to them and then crushing them because procrastination is something that is really really killing a lot of artists it's really affecting a lot of artists and it affected me for the longest time not even with the art actually with this youtube channel i always had this idea to do something like this make videos of my work i had this idea some years back but because i didn't know how to use a camera I didn't know much about YouTube uploading videos and just titling all that. I just kept on pushing it forward saying, I'll do it later. I don't want to do it now. I'll do it later. I'll learn how to use a camera later. I'll learn how to do SEO later. I just kept on giving myself different excuses as to why I didn't want to um, chase this dream, chase this, chase YouTube as a career. I didn't want to do that then so i just kept on giving myself flimsy excuses and it had to take a series of events different things that happened in succession to where i am now i first off had to quit my former job and after doing that i started looking into buying a camera so i could make some designs for t-shirts and that was when i started learning how to handle a camera how to make videos how to edit and after i did that then i realized that okay this is one goal so i still wasn't looking at doing youtube but i knew that i had already overcome one goal which is which was to learn how to handle a camera so next thing was to properly learn how to create a youtube set and then it took me another year because just learning how to use a camera editing and all that i think it took me roughly a year to learn that and then the next year i pretty much took off time from doing that and just sat back more or less doing uh setups in my house trying to figure out how to set up a youtube setup lighting all that just to pretty much make the videos high quality and just look comfortable on camera and this also took me some time before eventually i decided okay let me just make my first video and see how this will go i had already made some videos in the past which were just uh kind of 
time lapse, fast video speed lapses, and all that. But now I wanted to make actual quality videos where I spoke about the techniques I use because that was something that I see a lot of people ask me a lot in my comments. I see a lot of people wanting to know how to do these things that I am doing in my work, and it's just knowledge that I've learned from the internet basically and over time so i feel like i all the people from the internet that i learned from this same service to share more knowledge back just give more knowledge back so i just decided to just start this youtube channel and if not for just procrastinating for a long time i should have done this since but i just kept on pushing it forward just pushing it forward just pushing it forward so i don't want any other person to fall into this trap of just procrastinating on projects pushing things forward so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something from this video if you did please like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new here I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.